Hello? <laughs> it's probably nothing. Who's there? Oh my goodness. The trophy, the, the rosettes, they've been stolen. here Carlos. Ugh, whatever. Surprise attack! Oh, this is so immature of you. Quick, tickle his hooves! On it! Prepare for some serious pain. No, no, not the hooves! Ah, that tickles! Stop it! I'll do anything, just make it stop! <laughs> I can't believe we're here! I take it you're very excited for the horse show today? Excited is the biggest understatement of the year. Oh, I'm so pleased you're looking forward to it. Here, I just grabbed your picnic and little pop out of the boot of the car. Oh, thank you. Hey there, popcorn. I can't believe the foals are playing already. Well, these four are particularly mischievous. Come on, though, Carlos, get off of Pogo. Oi, Carlos, you heard her. I have very selective hearing. Ugh, you're so annoying. <laughs> do you hear that? Yes, I do. I think one of the horses must be upset. Maybe it's one of the new ones. Are you going to go and check on it? Are you going to use your awesome vet skills to make it better? Can I come and watch? Of course you can come. I'm not sure if we'll need my uh, vet skills. It might just be upset. In which case, you can help me calm it down. Come on then, let's go and investigate. Oh, and don't forget your picnic. Oh, looks like Abby and her little niece are here. Oh, thank goodness. Finally, they can come and sort out Luna. She's been making a racket all night. Well, to be honest, I think I'd be pretty upset too. But I mean, it's not like she got hurt. It was just a trophy and a couple of rosettes that got stolen. That happened to be by her paddock. It's not like anything particularly bad happened to her. I guess not, but still, I think that would be pretty scary. Hmm, I think she's just a bit of a posh princess myself. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hey, I can see the horse that's upset. It's the new grey mare that arrived yesterday. What is her name? Oh yes, Luna. Good spot, Lila. Let's go and see what's upset her. Come on, Pop. <gasps> Who's there? Is it the thief? Oh, Orlando, it's okay. It's just Abby and her little niece, Lila. Are you sure? Because you can't trust anybody. Especially not that tiny chihuahua puppy. What's his name? Pop. I'm telling you, that thing is evil. Are you talking about the cute puppy that's smaller than the rabbit? Oh yes, have you seen the shifty eyes on that thing? Right. Whoa, well, Luna, it's all right. Oh well, thank goodness, somebody is finally here. I've been calling and calling and nobody came, but finally you are here. There has been a theft. This trophy has been stolen. The trophy that I was going to win. And the ribbons, they're all gone too. And oh, it was so horrible. It's all right, girl. There's nothing to worry about. Everything's okay. What do you mean by that? Everything is not okay. Did you not just hear what I said? Oh, no, of course you didn't. Because humans can't understand. Um, Abby, where are the prizes for the horse show? Didn't you leave them here last night? Oh, thank you. At least some girl gets it. Oh, yeah, Lila, you were completely right. What with Luna freaking out, I completely forgot about that. They must have blown away or something during the night. Blown away? How can a metal trophy just blow away? Honestly, people are so silly. But what if someone took them, auntie? I mean, a trophy can't exactly blow away. Now, this is one very sensible girl. I think what's probably happened is when I put Betty's rug on the fence to air out, it must have got caught on the trophy, and if the wind picked up, it might have blown the rug and the trophy. 
Don't worry though, Lila. I'm going to have a quick look around here now before everyone starts arriving. Why don't you go and see Misty, give her a breakfast and start getting her ready? All right, I will. Excellent. I'll see you in a minute. I'm not so sure, Luna. You must have seen what happened. Man, I wish you could just talk and tell me. I'll see what Abigail thinks when she arrives. She's bound to have an idea. Stolen? No way! I know that you can't tell anyone because Abby didn't want to make a big deal of it. What does she think happened to them? Um, well, she didn't think they were stolen because they weren't very valuable or something. And that they just blew away. How can a trophy just blow away? That's exactly what I thought. There's something very fishy going on here, Lila, and we need to get to the bottom of it. I completely agree. Can you believe this, Misty? No, I can't. I hope Luna's okay. Poor Meh, she must be very upset. I'm coming over, Lila. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, good thing this stool was clean. Oh, sorry about that. Just landed in your grooming box. Oh my goodness, are you alright, Abigail? I'm not sure about these girls sometimes. Me neither. <laughs> right, Abigail, I hope after all of that you have a good point to make. <laughs> I actually do. Now stay with me here. We need to be able to find out what happened last night for a fact. Um, well, I hate to break it to you, but that's kind of the point. We can't actually know what happened. Ah, but that is where you're wrong, my friend. There are CCTV cameras all over this place, so there's got to be one that was covering that area last night. So we'll go to the tack room and look on the computer and play back the footage. Whoa, that is actually an amazing idea. You sound surprised. <laughs> Honestly, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Right, let's go find the thief. Brilliant, here it is. Okie dokie, here we are, Abby's laptop. Oh no, we need a password. Okay, don't panic. I have a method that works 100% of the time for guessing passwords. All right, let's hear it. Okay, what is Abby's favourite type of cake? Carrot cake, definitely. <gasps> Whoa, wait. Carrot cake? Now that has just blown my mind. Okay, try that. Oh no, that didn't work. Now we only have two guesses left. It didn't work. Are you serious? My foolproof plan isn't foolproof. Have you actually tried it before? Well, technically, no, but the only password I've ever had is my favourite type of cake. Wait, let me guess. Vanilla cupcake with raspberry icing. How did you guess my password? <laughs> yeah, definitely just luck. Right, I'm guessing the password this time. And I'm going to try the name of her horse, Whirlwind, and enter... Yes, Lila! Well done, it worked! Crystal, this is so exciting. It's like we're detectives. Oh, it is, isn't it? Right, now where is the CCTV footage? Oh yeah, here it is. All right, press play. Okay, here we go. Ah, I can't believe the footage just stopped. That's as far as the cameras go. Ah, I know. We're both on the edge of our seat here. I can't believe we were right and they've actually been stolen. Honestly, I'm a little surprised too, but I know exactly where to start looking for clues. Oh my goodness, same. I think we've got the same idea here. What are we waiting for then? Let's go harness up Misty and we can start looking for clues. Ah, excuse us. Important business coming through. Where were they going in such a hurry? I'm not sure. They must just be excited about the horse show. Speaking of the horse show, if we don't go and get our head collars and our horses in, we're going to be late. Oh, yes. Got them. Oh, thanks, Sophia. Hey, guys, who's been looking at the computer already? Probably Abby. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Come on, let's go. Oh, I've got your head collar, by the way, Sarah. There you go. Thanks, Sophia. All right, let's go and see where the horses are. Trooper, come on. Come on, mystery baby. Oh my goodness, do you mind? That was right in my ear. 
Ah, see you later, buddies. Looks like I'm wanted. <laughs> Bye, trooper. Seriously, Ace, you're unbelievable. Bye, man. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, you're making me not want to go. I can't leave you. Oh, good grief. I can't believe they do this every single time someone leaves the paddock. Yeah, let's go. Morning, Blossom Baby. How are you? Good girl for coming, Mystery. Well, I mean, a horse came over to me. Not my horse. Sorry, big guy, but you're not the dude I'm looking for right now. Oh, man. You guys can go and start grooming and tacking up. It's going to take me a while to pull Trooper away from his paddock pals. You can't leave us, Trooper. I'm not gonna, buddy. I'm already starting to forget what you look like. Oh, good grief. See you in a bit then, Jessie. Bye! Wait, where are you going? Well, girls, sorry, but we can't say. It's a top secret mission. But what about the horse show? The first class starts in half an hour. Don't worry, we're not going to be late. We are so going to be late. Right, Crystal? I literally can't remember a time when they were early. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on to your little tail, Pop. Come on, Misty. I'm slightly concerned about what they're up to. <laughs> I know, and we need to stop being outrun by them. I know it's getting embarrassing. Anyway, come on, to the wash stalls. Whoa, good girl. All right, Abigail, we are here at the scene of the crime, and I think we both know where to start looking for clues. Indeed, my fellow detective. So as we saw from the CCTV footage, the thief got caught on this corner. So somewhere around here, there must be some evidence. Aha! A clump of orange hair. Hair, or maybe even fur. I think we both know a very cheeky pony who has orange fur but is also small enough to fit inside a donkey's rug. <gasps> you are so right. Well, I think we both know where we're going to investigate next. Indeed. Onwards to the pony paddock. Let's go. We'll lead the way. Check out that turn on the forehand. Let's go, Crystal. Wait for us. We're here. That was convenient. Oh my goodness, I love how Pop drove. <laughs> <laughs> he is just the cutest thing ever. Cutest dog ever. You are definitely the cutest horse. Don't worry, Misty. <laughs> right, let's go and investigate the paddock. I am right behind you. Hello, hello. What is going on now? Ready? Oh, no. Oh, sorry. I swear I'm ending up on the floor way too often today. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah, it kind of is. Anyway, we need to get on and look for clues. Right, clues. I'm on it. There's nothing out of the ordinary over here. To be honest with you, the only thing that's odd is that all four of them are still in the paddock. Yeah, that is a really good point, because if they did escape, they're not going to escape, run around a bit, and then get back in their paddock. And besides, there's no food missing. These guys always go for the food. Yeah, I completely agree. Oh, hang on, what's this over here? There's some carrots. Hmm, that is a bit odd, I guess. But Jesse or someone could have brought the foals a treat this morning, and it's not carrots that were missing. Yeah, I think we've reached a bit of a dead end. Hmm... Hey, you two! What are you doing? The 50 centimetre class has started! We're running late! Come on, it's this way! Oh, crumbs, let's go! Abigail, you've got to go and tell my aunt that we're coming. i just got to go and grab Misty's tack. We'll meet you there! Whew. Do you think they bought it? <laughs> Definitely. They have no idea. I can't believe Glimmer asked you to steal the trophy for her and not me. Or at least both of us. Ah, don't feel bad, Patch. She only picked me because I'm clearly the fastest. <laughs> hmm. Ugh, don't give me that. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to go and eat some of the carrots Glimmer gave me as a reward. Hmm. I'm going to show them just how fast and sneaky I can be. Here is Glimmer's store. Stop right there, intruder. State the meaning of your visit. 
um, Glimmer sent me. She wanted something in her stall and wanted me to get it for her. I suppose that's okay then, if you were sent by my neighbour. As you were then, my fine fellow. Yes, sir. On it, sir. Oh, scary stallion. Right, I need to find the trophy. Aha. It was the classic behind the haynet trick. Oh, so predictable. Bingo. Wait, that's the missing trophy. Stop, thief. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh my goodness, why did Glimmer have the trophy in her store? I think you know, Poseidon. You were in on it too. You've got the missing rosettes on the front of your store. Uh, no. Oh, don't even try that. Glimmer got the trophy, you got the rosettes. That was the deal. But I am taking this to Glimmer to prove to her that I am much sneakier and faster than Ginger Nut. <laughs> well, I never. Poseidon, what do you have to say for yourself? Eh, I don't really care, to be honest. I just like having the extra rosettes. It really shows off how amazing I am. I stole a trophy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Ginger Nut. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what? How is that even possible? <laughs> you should see the look on your face. <laughs> now to take it to Glimmer. Huh? Oh my goodness, monster, run for your lives! Ah! Oh, what are you running away for? Oh, silly foals. It's just a cute squirrel. <laughs> run for your lives! Ah! Watch out, Cora! <laughs> <laughs> Now's my cue to act up as well. Oh, Luna. Ah! Now this isn't going to end well. Oh, Luna. Well, Sat, Brooke, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. For some reason, Luna's just been really on edge today. Ollie, would you mind grabbing that naughty pony? Yep, sure thing. Here, I can hold the two horses for you. Thanks, Sophia. As for you, mister, you're coming with me. Ready, Prue? On three. Okay, three. <laughs> hey, hey, nailed it. Yep, sure did. Brilliant, girls. Thanks for setting the jump back up. Jenny, you and Maui are up. You're the last ones to have a go at the 50 centimetre course. Good luck. Right, let's do this, buddy. Good boy. You can do this, Jenny. Woo! Please don't knock over the fillers again. <laughs> okay, Jenny, when you're ready. Come on, the Maui. Get up. Good boy. And your timer has started. Good boy, Maui. Yes, good boy. They are now approaching the tightest turn in the whole course. Can they make it? Yes, they did! <gasps> Sorry, some hay went down the wrong way. Oh, flame. <laughs> Well done, Jenny. That was brilliant. That was the quickest clear round we've had. Now pop on over to the judges' scoring table and we'll see what they thought. Easy, mister. <laughs> Don't go speeding off now. Well, dear, that was the most excellent bit of horsemanship I have seen in quite some time now. Which is why I am going to give you a six. Oh, thank you very much. What a nice lady. Now, for me, I thought it was excellent too. I'm going to have to agree with my fellow judge here. I thought you kept your toes in all the time. You communicated with your horse, which I love. So it is a six from me too. Well, thank you very much, sir. What can I say? I do try. Well, I loved it too. I thought you communicated beautifully with your horse. You both really trust each other, which is brilliant. I think if you keep working on your jumping position and some of the more technical aspects of it, you could go on to do really well in show jumping as well as being a jockey. Well done. So I'm going to give you a five. Thank you so much.
Oh, no problem, dear. Well done. Thank you, judges, and well done, Jenny. With a total score of 17 out of 18, you have won the show jumping and will receive a ribbon. Just as soon as I can find them. Woo! That's my cousin! Nice one, Jenny. That was awesome. The final events are happening after lunch, so in about an hour, there's the dressage test for those of you who have prepared a routine. And then for everyone else, there's the best dressed horse competition that will take place at the same time. So you can spend the next hour getting your horse ready if you are taking part in that. So the judges and I will see you then. Now I better run to the shop to see if I can find any rosettes. Oh, well done, Maui. I'm so proud. There's definitely going to be extra carrots for you. Ninja Squirrel. Oh, what is this gorgeous shiny gold thing? I want it, whatever it is. Ah, nuts. This thing weighs a ton. Oof. Okay, team. We need to work quickly. We've only really got the next hour to try and find the missing awards before they need to be in for the ceremony this afternoon. Okay, roger that. So what we need to be able to do is regroup somewhere where we're not going to be overheard by loads of people. Any ideas, Abigail? I'm new around here. Yes, I know an absolutely perfect place. Oh, brilliant. Right, I'm just going to go and switch Misty's saddle to the pony trap because we need room for our picnic on the back because uh, I'm kind of hungry. Sounds good. Though, when are you not hungry, Lila? <laughs> that is a good question. Hey there, Sarah. Hello there, show jumping champion. Oh, hello there, my royal subject. <laughs> Stand still, mystery. I'm just going to loosen your girth. There you go. Do you want me to take off Maui's boots for you? Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about those. Yes, please. No probs. I'll pop them with the rest of your stuff. Oh wow, I've just noticed Betty and Bean in the paddock. He really is divine, isn't he? He is, and he is so cute. Those ears are ridiculously fluffy. Ah, the baby donkey! I'm in love. Oh, hi there, Sophia. Where have you been, my friend? I've missed you. I've only been gone for two minutes. I went to find some really good shampoo for grey horses, because I'm not kidding, Blossom has the world's biggest sweat patches. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I know. But luckily, Brooke had some shampoo. She also has a grey mare, so we're kind of in the same boat here. I'm sorry, Blossom, but it had to be said. Right, I need to get your hose down. Okay, guys, you've got to see this. I have taught Ted the cutest trick ever. Hey, Ted, get the hose. Good boy, get the hose. <coughs> And voila, one hose carrying dog. Oh, that was brilliant. It really was. Good boy, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> He's very handy to have around. Now I've got to go and give Blossom her bath before lunch. Okay, cool. See you then. It is beautiful. It sure is. Come on, let's go inside. Are we actually allowed inside, Abigail? Yes, of course. It's owned by the stables, this land, but it's right on the edge of their property, so hardly anyone comes out here, so it's perfect for secret meetings. That is so cool. How do you get in? Ah, well, the key is always hidden in this hay bale here. Yeah, see, here it is. Whoa. I know. Here, you can go first and unlock the door. Thanks. See you in a minute, horses. Don't run off. <laughs> Don't run off. Like we could be bothered to run off. I know. And have you seen the size of this hay bale? Out of my way, Crystal. It is so pretty in here. Yep. Dibs the corner of the sofa. Oh, yeah. Let's open up the windows. Oh, my gosh. It's just so pretty. Yes, I know, Popcorn. You're excited. I get it. <laughs> So, Abigail, who are our main suspects? Just a little further. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to get it up there? Did you hear something there, Misty? What? No, nothing. 
Sorry, this hay is too good. <laughs> Almost there. Yes, I did it. I got it back to my house. No. Oops. Well, that was a very productive meeting. Yeah, it was. Come on, Pop. Just got to make sure the key's properly hidden amongst the hay. Excellent. Right, we better hurry back because it is lunchtime, my favourite time of the day. Yes, let's go. Oh, my gold shiny thing. Here we are. Come on, we need to find a table. Ah, here's one. Hey you guys, are you ready for the next events? Yes, Glimmer and I are going to be entering the dressage, obviously. Trooper and I aren't entering either. I can't bring myself to try and remember a dressage test and Trooper strongly objects to being made pretty. <laughs> Fair enough. Abigail, there's a complete disaster. What? I completely forgot that the carriage and Misty need to be completely decorated and immaculate for the next class in 10 minutes, which means I won't be able to eat my lunch. You've got to help me. Oh, Lila, how could you forget that? Right, come on, I'll help you. Good girl, Misty, come on. Whoa, 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 wait, you two. You can't go with this giant picnic basket on the back. Oh, I swear it's gotten heavier. I'll just pop it by our table for now. <sighs> Thanks, Abigail. Right, come on, you've got to pick which decorations you want. Okay, maybe green and pink, because she's got pink on. Yes, we're going green and pink. Excellent decision, because four-leaf clovers are very lucky. Right, you decorate the carriage. I'll go and grab some brushes and get Misty looking a bit cleaner. Thanks so much, Abigail. Good boy, Maui, you're looking gorgeous. Come on. Hey, Brooke, how are you getting on? Are you ready for your dressage test? Yes, I am all ready. I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm just trying to make my ponytail a bit neater. It's sort of gone a bit frizzy. <laughs> Say no more. What's Luna doing? I'm not too sure, to be honest. She's just been like that for a while now. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, are you ready? Yeah, we are. That mare is looking fabulous, but where's Mystery? <laughs> Mystery's back there. She strongly objects to being accessorised, so I've borrowed Gucci for the time being. Well, I'm actually in love with her. I feel like she might win. Well, that's what I'm hoping. She is very pretty. <laughs> okay, everybody, the two final events are starting shortly. That's the dressage test and the best dressed horse. Good luck, Brooke. Thanks, you guys. You too. Come on, Luna. If you're taking part in either event, then you can gather behind the horse show. And if you're not, then make sure you're seated at one of the tables so you're not in the way. The first person up for the dressage is Luna and Brooke. Good luck, everyone, and may the best horse and rider win. Good boy, Ted. We'll see you in a minute. Be good. Come on, Glimmer. Good luck, you two. You're going to do amazingly. Crystal and I and Popcorn are going to be cheering for you from the sidelines. Thanks, Abigail. You're such a great friend. Oh, no problem. I'm just going to go and put all the grooming stuff away. Come on, Luna. We can do this. Good luck, Brooke. Okay, Brooke, when you're ready. Congratulations, Brooke. That was a beautiful performance. Scores, please, judges. We are in agreement that this was a truly beautiful routine. Wow, well done, Brooke. You should be really proud. Now, our final competitor in the dressage is Glimmer and Stacy. Now the 
best dressed horse competition is going to start. First contestant, please come mm, forward. Cake. Now the very last contestant in the best dressed horse competition is Lila and her horse Misty. Come on Misty, we can do this. Good girl. Judges, can we have your scores please? Oh, what is this big metal thing in the way of the cake? <gasps> the trophy? What's it doing in there? Was Lila trying to steal it? Lila, what was this doing in your picnic basket? What? How is that possible? <gasps> oh my goodness, I think I've just understood something. Stay here, Misty. Auntie, I know what it looks like, but I promise you that I didn't steal the trophy. Hmm. Then who are you suggesting did? Well, Abigail and I have been looking all day for clues about who actually stole it. And I think I've finally pieced the puzzle together. Okay, what do you think? Well, we first thought Ginger Nut might have done it because we found orange fur on the fence and the CCTV footage we watched showed something very small getting stuck in the donkey's rug. Ginger Nut, the small Shetland pony? Yes, but we crossed him off our suspect list when we found no trophy in his paddock. However, we were very wrong to do this because of the clue Abigail found. What? The carrots in the paddock? Correct. So you're saying Ginger Nut did it because of some carrots? Well, not exactly. Ginger Nut did it for the carrots. Glimmer, Stacy's horse, gave him the carrots in return for the trophy. How can you be sure, Lila? Well, for starters, when I had a closer look at the carrots, there was a grey tail hair attached to one of them. Hey, that actually fits because this morning I went into the stable and just outside Glimmer's stall was this rug. Oh my goodness, that's the donkey's rug I couldn't find this morning. That's a solid bit of evidence, though that still doesn't explain how it ended up in your picnic basket. Ah, here's where I'm not so sure, because I'm not sure how it got out of Glimmer's stall where she must have been keeping it in the first place. What about Patch? He was out of his paddock and must have seen Ginger Nut sneak off last night. But then Patch spooked at something, must have dropped the trophy... And that's when he ran to the arenas. Right. And then it was picked up by none other than the cheeky squirrel that lives at the barn. And he must have brought it to the caravan. Yes, and when he tried to drag it up onto the roof, it slipped and fell into my open basket. But how do you know for certain it was picked up by a squirrel? Here, let's look inside. Look, inside it, it's filled with acorns. Lila, you solved the case. We solved the case. I couldn't have done it without you, my friend. Well, you two, you have completely impressed me with your detective skills. Well done. Though I have one more question. What about the rosettes? Oh, I forgot about those. I'm not sure. Wait, you mean these? I found them attached to that cheeky horse beside and stall. He had one too many. Well, everyone, I think it's time that we crack on with the awards ceremony. I just want to say firstly, really well done to everyone. I hope you've had a brilliant day. And I am really proud of you all. Now this first rosette is going to go to the winner of the show jumping class. Jenny, Maui, really well done. This one is yours. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Now this next ribbon is going to go to the winner of the dressage class. Brooke and Luna, this one is for you. Whoop whoop, thank you. And finally, the best dressed horse award goes to Sarah and Gucci. Here you go, guys. Thanks. It was just when I thought Gucci couldn't get any more decorations on her. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we have the award that's caused quite a few problems today. And that is the prize for the best teamwork. And without a doubt, I think, Lila and Abigail, you have earned this award. Well done, you guys. Yes, we did it. We need a group photo. Everybody gather round. Okay, everyone ready? It started! <laughs>